Familiar Pesmino, and this is the Yellow Spotted River Turtle. On our first day in Ecuador, I decided to do something we left off last time. Looking for turtles in the mud. Now last time I showed you guys two species. The Colombian wood turtle and the white lipped mud turtle. Both species are native to the area. But this right here is the yellow spotted river turtle. These guys are from the Amazonian side of Ecuador, from the east. Right now we're in the west, so these guys are not supposed to be here. The yellow spotted river turtle is named so because when they're young, like this one, they have yellow spots on their head. However, these spots are going to fade away as they grow. These turtles can get quite big. The females can reach lengths of up to 60 centimeters. These turtles are omnivorous and have a highly varied diet. They eat everything from algae and weeds to small invertebrates and fish. They belong to a family of turtles called the side neck turtles. Good. I'm going to try to show you. Wait. See if I can get him to put his head inside his shell. You're gonna see that he tucks his head to the side instead of back. That's why they're called side neck turtles. But right now though, oh, he's gonna try to bite me. Look at that. Oh. A while back, some images of butterflies landing on the heads of turtles in the Amazon became very popular. This was actually this very species. The reason the butterflies will land on their head is because they drink their tears. This is because sometimes rain in the Amazon is going to come from the Atlantic instead of the Pacific, so it travels a long way through the South American continent. Along the way, the rain is going to lose some essential minerals and nutrients, such as sodium. So when it arrives, it comes out as very fresh, and animals of the jungle that depend on the sodium, such as butterflies, have to become very creative to get their sodium. So what they'll do is that they're going to stand on the heads of the turtles and drink their tears for their salt. I can't show you this because, like I said before, we're not at the Amazonian side of Ecuador. We're on the western side. So those butterflies aren't here. These turtles are very well adapted to live in rivers. You can see that they have webbed feet. And they're very quick through the water. These turtles here in Ecuador are often sold illegally as pets. So people get them when they're pretty small, even smaller than this but then they grow to their massive size, so they have to let them go. And that's why we have them here in the river systems, like so many other species, both here and back in Florida. One way you can help these turtles and so many other exotic species is by not buying exotic pets whose numbers are being decimated where they live. That's the best thing you can do to help them. Now we're gonna put this turtle back. Bueno muchachos, till next time.